Alright, let's make a video about this new setup that I found for the build ceiling clip. Um, like ever since I switched to the keybinds that have crouch and jump down to mouse wheel up and mouse wheel down, I've been having issues with this, uh, with the ceiling clip here. Like the standard way to get out is to just hop on top of this machine, run over somewhere around here, and then just hope that jumping jumping out will free you. But a lot of the times this machine just like pushes you straight back down into bounds like that. So decide to try and find a setup that'll get you out like hundred percent of the time and this method doesn't waste but like one or two seconds and it's pretty much 100% consistent. So first step to just get on top of the machine same as before that hasn't changed at all and once you're at this point instead of just going off to the left and trying to hop out of bounds immediately I do a single run input that'll pop my head up above the ceiling to where you can see out of bounds but you're still under this secondary ceiling that's keeping you from getting truly out of bounds. And once you're standing up here, you just walk over into this corner as flush as you can get. Set your camera about an inch to the right of this metal rectangle thing, and then just run forward into this wall. That'll like pop you up above I think it's a little bit below the secondary ceiling still, you're like clipped into the bottom of it, but you're up high enough to where you just start spazzing out if you rotate your camera to the left, which that's a good sign, that means the setup's working correctly, and you just keep up against these two beams, traveling over to the left and then back down into this corner, and getting over here means you're free from being underneath that second ceiling that's keeping you down. So you, now that there's nothing above your head, you can just jump on top of this beam, run up on top of that ceiling, and then complete the level. So I'll just go through the setup a couple times quickly, just to show you that it doesn't really waste that much time if you do it fast. There we go. Just hop on top of this machine. It's really just running into this corner. Popping up a little bit. And then moving like slightly out of the way instead of just popping up immediately. Like I said, only a couple seconds lost, but it's 100% consistent, so I think it's worth it. I'm going to start using it. But yeah. Hope some other people will find this pretty useful. Anyway. Bye.